welcome to Barnet. I'm Pat Have Mercy Leacock, a resident of Barnet for over 20 years. Barnet has supported a homegrown, grassroots arts and cultural scene for such a long time. And today, it's full of untapped potential for creativity and culture. Come with me as we explore this amazing borough and find out what makes it so special. We uh, undertook the first ever Kiddies Carnival in Barnet, which was amazing. Uh, we, we had close to 100 kids, you know, sort of wear costumes, you know, of different faiths, multi-faiths, multi-religion, people who never would have thought that they could access Carnival before. It's amazing when you start putting something out there, how you attract other people that are also interested. Exactly. And uh, thing like, things like the London Festival of Architecture group that we had this year, all of a sudden all the artists and cultural folk came out of the woodwork and it was a real important moment for us realising, oh, what's here? And uh, maintaining those relationships afterwards. So if we have the London Borough of Culture, it will be magnified. <laughs> it's such a multicultural borough that it really brings things alive and I think within the Arts Depot the range of opportunities that are here and shows that different communities can bring I think that's what really brings it alive. Culture never needs an excuse or permission um, it always brings value and the effects and impacts of it always come in spades so this would be a wonderful opportunity obviously not only to resource the infrastructure and opportunities and network that exists within the borough but give the rest of London a big welcome uh, to come and hang out with us um, and see what we're made of over here. The joy of culture should be that it's absolutely there and open and available to everyone. London Borough of Culture would give us the opportunity to have shared ownership of our future and drive our common purpose together. We've been dependent on the passion and dedication of individual community groups for a very long time. We are extremely lucky to have so many diverse communities that get along so well. In fact, we are a paradigm for the fact that multiculturalism not only can work, but does. I also think, to put it simply, art and culture shouldn't be seen as the icing on the cake, but a basic ingredient of the cake itself. Being recognised as a borough of culture will accelerate that process and help people to believe that there is local art, there is local culture, whether it's food, fashion, dance, music, whatever it is, is here in Barnet and to enjoy it here in Barnet. And the Borough of Culture could act as a great catalyst for the future if the borough is awarded the 2027 title. We provide a wide range of opportunities for those with physical sensory impairments and disabilities. Our main uh, taglines is everyone is an artist and that really flows through on different levels. I've actually worked in Barnet now for 28 years and you know the thing that really stands out is the warmth and friendliness of the community. We want to have more people involved, we want to break down the barriers so that music is equitable and it's inclusive and we want to financially help anyone that hasn't got that access to music. I think it's about it being community rooted so the reason our Bollywood sessions are so sort of popular and so successful is that they're run by someone in the community from the South Asian community that really understands that community, they understand the culture that they're sharing with others. It's authentic, it's driven with passion, there's something about sort of awakening the creativity in people, the idea that everyone could be an artist, you know, everyone can get involved. There's so much community building potential in that and that's what we're really excited about. If Barnet was the borough of culture, it's that idea of focusing so strongly for a single year of creating more connections and we know that although there'll be all the great work we do that year, that's then not the end of it, you know, that's, that's very much the beginning. Everything that we do here is based on youth work, so our youth work is get to know young people first, build a relationship with them, help them come out of their shell and help them build their confidence. We're all stronger together here in Barnet. If we work together, it means that we can make sure that like, one plus one equals three or four or five, um, and I think that's the way that we make our cultural life as rich as it can be. Barnet is home to so much creativity, community spirit and fun, and this is just the beginning. Barnet is blooming with creativity and potential. The future is bright.